Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. A few days ago, I did a video titled, Is Capture One Better Than Lightroom? In that video, I took a single RAW file from a Fujifilm X-T4, and I processed it to the best of my ability in both Capture One and Lightroom to decide which application did a better job at processing that single image. By the end of the video, I more or less came to the conclusion that Capture One did a slightly better job than Lightroom did. Well, that video generated a lot of buzz, so I've decided to do this follow-up video where I show you the results of my processing of multiple images from different cameras in both Capture One and Lightroom. Now, before I do that, let me clear up two things. Uh, first of all, when that last video posted, a uh, few people accused me of being paid off by Capture One. Uh, that's not true. If it were a sponsored video, I would be obligated by law to tell you it's a sponsored video. It was not a sponsored video by either company. Nobody paid me to do that video. I am an affiliate for both Capture One and Adobe. In the description below that video and this video, you'll see links for both Capture One and Adobe. If you were kind enough to click on those links, either of those links, and purchase the product, I would make a commission. So really, I don't have a dog in the fight as far as which one you purchase using my affiliate links. I would get commissioned either way, and I'd be really grateful if you did that. So money is not a factor, all right? Number two, I thought I made this abundantly clear in the last video, but let me stress it again. This is wildly unscientific and totally subjective, and really, it's at the whim at how adept I am at processing an image in either application. I may be much better at one than the other. I think I'm equally adept at both, but you know, Dunning-Kruger, maybe I'm not. So it's kind of up to you to decide whether or not I'm just not as good at one over the other or not. Uh, so take that for what it's worth. Now again, it's totally subjective, totally unscientific. Let's just get started. I have this image here of my cat Rocky. This is the image in Capture One, and here is the image in Lightroom. This was shot again with that Fujifilm X-T4. I actually think I took this image the day I got the camera. Um, it was shot at one eighth of a second handheld. The Fujifilm X-T4 has the best in-body image stabilization of any camera I've ever used. So it was very easy to handhold the image. But with that, as we zoom in, you can see it's, it's not perfectly sharp. Uh, whether or not it's just not focused well enough or whether it's just a little movement from me, it's not perfectly sharp. That's the Lightroom version of the image. Here's the Capture One version of the image. Zoom in equally like I did in Lightroom. They're pretty equal. Now, I will say that I had a more difficult time nailing the white balance in Capture One. It was much more difficult uh, to do it compared to Lightroom. Lightroom, I seemed to hit it right away. Um, I had to really fiddle with the Capture One version. Now, one thing I notice, I'm not sure it's coming through in the video because video resolution is going to be far less of a resolution than me sitting looking at my monitor. The Lightroom image is a bit softer. The, the Capture One images, image has a bit more sharpness. And if we look at clarity, you can see I didn't move it at all in Capture One. And as far as sharpening is concerned, I left it at the default amount. With that said, the... Lightroom image is more um, pleasing to my eye than the Capture One image. The Capture One image just seems a little bit too crispy sharp for some reason. This one looks more realistic to me. Again, subjective. You decide for yourself. Now we'll go to the next image. Uh, this is another uh, Fujifilm X-T4 image. Uh, this is a, obviously a landscape image uh, taken with that X-T4. We'll go over to Capture One, go to that image, and it's going to go. There we go. Um, anyway, uh, to me, they're pretty much identical. If I zoom in on the Lightroom uh, image into this uh, grain elevator that's in the background, we could see some of the detail on the, you know, the old wall of the grain elevator and zoom in on this one. Um, they look pretty much the same to me. So to me, that one's pretty equal uh, overall. Again, Fujifilm X-T4. Now we'll go to another image. Uh, this image is the final image I'm going to show you today from the Fujifilm X-T4. Again, I think I took this the day I got the camera. 
And if we zoom in, or if we go over here, this is the Capture One version. This is the Lightroom version. Again, I try to process them so they're as equal as possible. It looks like, uh, as I look at it now, because of eye fatigue, uh, the Capture One version is just overall a little brighter. I have a little more dynamic range in the Lightroom image. That's nothing to do with the raw files um, processed in each. It's just, I think I just have blacks a little darker in this image compared to this image. So if I go over uh, two levels and I just kind of pull those down a little bit, I think it'll make it more equal. So um, if I zoom in on the Capture One image on the casino in the background, uh, we could look at the detail in the bricks. And then we go over to the Lightroom image and zoom in. Uh, the detail in the bricks overall. And then over here. I think the detail is just a little bit softer in the Lightroom version. It's just, whoops, just a little bit softer in the Lightroom version. It's hard to tell. Um, you know, again, that I, I, you'd have to say they're probably the same. It comes down to the micro adjustments I did when I was doing tone. So I might have the shadows a little darker in one, the blacks a little darker in one over the other, and it would give me more contrast, which would affect those bricks. So again, I'd say they're pretty equal here. It's just really subjective which one you like better. Uh, as I look at them, I like the Capture One image better than I over the Lightroom image. To me, that one just looks better. Again, very subjective. All right, the next image was shot from a Sony A7R4. We zoom in, there's the Capture One version of the image. There's the Lightroom version of the image. And we'll zoom in on the statue it's in the middle of the pond, let it render. You can see there's a lot of detail in the statue there. Maybe go down, see the detail in the rocks on the base of the statue. Zoom in to Capture One equally, let it render. And it looks, I mean, they're different. They look different, but I mean, is one better than the other? That's really subjective. It's up to you to decide which one you like better. Um, look pretty equal to me. I like them equally. Maybe the capture one just slightly better, but again, that just comes down to how I processed it. Uh, so uh, both very equal there. So the next... Uh, image is shot from a Nikon Z6. Now this one, I think Capture One did a better job for one specific thing. As you look at them uh, like this, I mean, they look pretty equal, right? But if I zoom in on the lighthouse in the background, see in the background here, we're looking through fencing and you can see this color banding that's on the Nikon Z6 raw file in, in Lightroom. And then if I go over to capture one and zoom in you're going to see the banding is still there but it doesn't seem to be as um obvious i mean it's still there obviously still there but it's definitely more obvious on the nikon z6 raw file processed in lightroom over the nikon z6 raw file processed in capture one uh, other than that I mean, it's pretty much identical as far as processing is concerned. Oops. Um, in my opinion. All right. So there's Nikon Z6. Now we have another Nikon Z6 image. This is just kind of a landscape image without anything that is greatly detailed. Uh, just there is the Lightroom version. There is the Capture One version. I processed it as equally as possible. We zoom into the Lightroom version, maybe down here to the base of the uh, wind sculpture. And we look at the grasses, and then we do the same thing over here to the Capture One version. And, I mean, pretty much identical, in my opinion. So, uh, no difference there, in my opinion. Now, the next image is from a Nikon D500 uh, with a 14 to 24 millimeter lens shot at 14 millimeters. So, really wide, really wide lens. And there is the... Uh, the Lightroom version, and here is, in a second, the Capture One version. So there's processing on each, again, pretty much equal. Let's zoom in on this building out here in the distance. And we'll zoom in here, and 
look pretty much the same. In my opinion. Now it's again up to you to decide which one looks the best to you. Okay, get some of these chimneys and other brick buildings in the shot. Let's see what those look like over here. Oops. Had to get this kind of equal. The the Lightroom version does look softer if you look at this tree and then look at the tree here. But that again could be the way I just happen to process the tone in each image and the contrast in each image. But I consistently, you look at that picture of Rocky and a couple of the others in this one, I consistently seem to make the Capture One images look um, sharper, sometimes even too sharp. Like, like this to me almost looks not good compared to this. This looks a little natural, more natural. My again, it's it's very very subjective. Um, but I consistently do that with Capture One. That could be on me. That could be just the way I process it, and I need to um, change my processing method with Capture One. But maybe it's not. Um, what I encourage you to do both companies, Adobe Inc. and Phase One, who makes Capture One. Both companies have um, fully working trials. They're just time limited. If you're not sure if you'd use Capture One or if you're not sure if you'd use Adobe, uh, Adobe's Lightroom, just download them and try them out and uh, see how you do at processing the uh, images that you, sh you know, your raw files and with each application, see what works best for you. So that's it. My totally unscientific, uh, enormously subjective comparison of Capture One to Lightroom using different raw files from different cameras. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>